All right, what is going on guys? Today's video, I wanna take you through the breakfast of champions. So if you're interested in a breakfast that's extremely easy to make, it's gonna take you about five to 10 minutes, it's gonna taste great, and it's gonna be very, very nutritious. So if you're interested in that, be sure to watch to the end. And we're gonna get right into it, baby. All right guys, so for this, all you're really gonna need is a few ingredients, which we'll get into in just a sec, and a stove. Now, if you don't have a stove, what are you doing with your life? You know what I mean? Pretty much stove ingredients, but before we get into anything, guys, it is the morning, so I'm gonna whip up a coffee. It's coffee time. Ah, that's the good stuff. With that, we're gonna get right into it. So we're gonna need two things. One, a lens change, and two, some ingredients. So, all right, guys, that is much better. So we've got all the ingredientes right here dude and we're gonna get right into it so i'm sure you're asking yourself like what the hell are we even making and i'm gonna tell you right now so hold your horses there buddy what we're gonna be making guys is oats now we're not just making oats we're also gonna be making eggs so we can make it both on the stove and that is why this is the perfect breakfast because it's quick and that is good that's what we want in the morning we don't want to stress too much about cooking we want to get it in get it done and then get in those calories and that nutrition so that's what we're gonna Get into. So we're gonna need two things for this. One is a deep dish pan, and then the next is just a regular fry pan. Now, if you don't have pans, why the hell do you have a stove in the first place? <laughs> pan it up. So my plan for this video is to take you through the entire process 100% of the way. So I'm not gonna really cut too much footage or speed it up here and there, but for the most part, I'm gonna show you how quick, how simple this actually is to make. So let's just see how that goes. Times like these, I wish I was a little bit smaller so we could fit into the frame. So like any good chef would, we gotta prioritize the foods, right? If we cook the oats first, that means we're gonna be able to get the eggs and the oats cooked at the same time. So we're gonna do the oats half a cup or as much as you really want. I'm gonna do about 100 grams, but I'm gonna eyeball it. Boom, boom, boom. From there, we're gonna need some of water. So we're gonna put a good amount of water in and basically what we're gonna do is fill it up till it is just covering the oats. And then we're gonna turn said pan on high. Boom. So we're gonna keep this rolling, right? So while the oats are cooking, we're actually gonna prep the actual eggs. So essentially, Jesus Christ. So essentially we're gonna do two whole eggs and three egg whites. That's gonna be the go here. This whole setup is a lot harder than I expected. So two whole eggs, quick cracks. In there, boom, three egg whites, all right? If you don't know how to do this, you just get the yolk in each side and you pass it back and forth, pass it back and forth until all the egg whites go in there. And that is magic! And three eggs. Boom, 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 boom. We'll clean that up later. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. You talking to me? While the oats are still cooking, we're gonna quickly twirl that around and get that nice and mixed in. How bad does that sound? Not good. Nice and quick little twirl. What is this cold, guys? I'm having the biggest brain fog. I can't remember what this is actually cold. Whisk, whisking. Side note, guys. I really want you to pay attention to how many times I say the word twirl because I say it an abnormal amount in this video and it's a problem. Oh boy. All right, that's nice and whisked up. So what we're gonna do now is essentially let these oats come to a bit of a boil. And while we're doing that, we're gonna actually get our other pan prepped. So we gotta put it on, boom. So pan on. Right like that. And what we're gonna do is get a bit of coconut oil going for that one. So that's gonna be the go with that. Put about half a tablespoon, that's about it. Now we just wanna let that heat up, let that actually melt before we actually start to cook the eggs. Now the method that I actually cook my eggs with is probably the best ever, right? Because a lot of people when they scramble their eggs, they're gonna overcook it, they're gonna burn it, and they just don't really know what the freaking doing. Now not to toot my own horn, but this is a very good way to make sure they're nice and fluffy and they don't get burnt. This is starting to get pretty hot already. Wow. All right guys, now the oats have started to get quite Cook. So essentially what you want to do is begin to mix it, okay? So once it comes to a full boil, what you want to do is put it on low heat and then twirl it around for about two minutes and it should cook nicely. While that's going, we're going to actually whack our eggs on. Just like so, get that in there. Boom shaka laka malaka. Now essentially, as soon as it goes on, you want to begin twirling it. The best way to do it, as I was talking about before guys, because I'm a professional chef, is go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And that's the way to do it, because that way it doesn't burn, and you want to keep it in motion, all right? If I learned anything from Gordon Ramsay, it's to keep the eggs in motion. 30 seconds on, back off. Every time I stir, I'm cleaning the bottom of the pan. How can something be delicious and overcooked? There's no such thing! So essentially you want to continue to bring this all to the middle. So once it starts to clump up, just drag it in, move it around, get it active guys. Oh wow. All right, back on the pan, nice, nice twirl. So now we're going to put the oats on low heat guys. 
and we're just gonna twirl that around. All right, so we've got the oats going here, and essentially we're just gonna twirl this around for about a minute, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our fruit in it, it's gonna be blueberries. So the eggs are cooking quite nicely, we wanna take it off again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So while that's off, okay, what we're gonna do, put in our blueberries. Now, I'm gonna use about 100 grams. I am gonna eyeball it because we are trying to save time here. So a good amount of blueberries. Now these are frozen, so what's good about this is they're gonna defrost in the actual oats while they're cooking. So put them in there, about 100 grams. Begin to twirl all those bad boys around. This is cooking up nicely, guys. So essentially, what we're also gonna do to add to the uh, eggs, right, this is great if you're dieting or whether or not you just wanna get in some more micronutrients, you wanna put in spinach or kale or a whole range of vegetables, pretty much. I'm just gonna use kale for right now. This is not kale, this is spinach. I'm gonna use spinach. Boom, good handful in there. Uh, that will really die down, guys. So you'll see that there's quite a lot in there right now, but that will really start to get nice and dehydrated. You can then begin to start to break up the eggs and mix it around with the spinach. And it's gone really nicely, guys. See, this has taken me about five freaking minutes. I wish I was kidding, guys. Five minutes, however, I am multitasking. It will take you a lot shorter if you're not filming it, because. This is a bit of a trouble. All right, so the oats are getting really, really nice and ready. Um, pretty much what we're gonna do, guys, is get a freaking bowl. So we get this bowl and plate here. Boom. All right, so the oats are really damn cooked. You really don't need a whole lot going on there. And that would be that, guys. Look at that. So damn good. So damn nutritious. Very good, lad. Now that's not done, guys, so be ready for that. That is all done, guys. Delish. Boom. Just whack that on the plate. Delicio nutricio. Now, obviously, you can add in more vegetables to that if you want. It does look a bit bland of a plate right now, but we're going to add some stuff into it to make it taste better. All right, guys, so as mentioned, we're going to add some things to this finishing product, which is absolutely delicious. A lot of calories uh, going down, a lot of nutrition there. So we're gonna add a few things into that to make it taste better. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be adding into the oats is the One Up Whey Protein. This is banana caramel flavor. I'm not gonna add too much in there, but even just a little bit, guys, makes it taste so much better. Quarter scoop even, twirl that in. So you just wanna mix that in nicely, guys. That is very good. Up next is gonna be a bit of cinnamon, pretty much, guys. This is simple as that. Just a nice dab. Dab it up, guys. Last but not least, guys, this is for the calories and it's gonna be a good amount of peanut butter. All natural because that is, that is, that is the way to go. Nice, about 20 grams of that. That's gonna go in there. Make it taste way better. Make it uh, more calorie dense if you're trying to gain weight. If not, guys, leave this one out. That is the oats. Absolutely delicious. So that there, guys, was first breakfast. Now we're on to second breakfast. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. Which is the eggs, right? Now this one we're gonna keep real simple and all we're gonna put on there is the sriracha sauce. Now this is hot sauce, so if you don't like spicy foods then First of all, what the hell is wrong with you? Second of all, don't worry about it, you don't have to have it. A good alternative would be sugar-free sauce or sugar-reduced sauce. So this is just tomato. You can also get a barbecue one or you know you could use soy sauce if you like. So I'm gonna use this because I'm a normal person and I don't like spicy food. So a good amount on this. Be careful with this though because it does have a lot of sodium in it. And that there, guys, is the meal. So I'm gonna put the calories, the macros, and everything else from my fitness pal right Right there, I don't have, a, don't have a finger, so I use my tongue. It's right, it's right there anyway. So pretty much, guys, that is eggs, spinach, and then some sriracha sauce, oats, peanut butter, blueberries, and some protein powder, guys. This is my absolute go-to right now, banana caramel twist, but there's a ton of other good, crazy flavors like chalk peanut butter and stuff. So go check out their website. If you like what you see, you can use my code, FraserFit. Save 20%, dude. So guys, that is gonna be the wrap up of the video. One thing I've learned from this video, honestly, is I have a newfound respect for all of the cooking shows out there, the, the people that cook on like on demand, because that was quite a quite a quite a process, guys. So pretty much, guys, that took me 15 minutes with the filming, with everything else. So if I was not filming, I'd be able to cook it up, clean everything else, make everything nice and clean easily within 10 minutes, guys. And that is a lot of calories. It's a good start to your morning. Honestly, starting your day off right is a very, very important thing. So I would recommend getting around this breakfast, giving it a go, guys. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to come back and let me know in the comments. With that, guys, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And I'm gonna go enjoy this delicious meal and I'll catch you in the next one. Holy guacamole, bro. It does get messy when you try to film and cook at the same time. Not fun.